the Mango Ballpoint Pen was freshly launched into the stationery market by Promit, a stationery manufacturer in Sri Lanka, targeting teenagers and school children. Now Mango, the new bean stationery, needed to generate as many customer trials as possible and at the same time establish their positioning right to inspire. The Colombo International Book Fair, CIBF, the largest annual book exhibition in Sri Lanka draws teenagers and school children by thousands and presented itself as an excellent opportunity for Mango to introduce itself to their target market and let them experience a Mango ballpoint pen for the first time. For ages, school children have scribbled and sketched on school desks with ballpoint pens to deal with boredom in class. These rough scribbles and sketches, often unnoticed, are made up of a student's raw, uninhibited thoughts and result in beautiful poetry and creative art, all using a ballpoint pen. In other words, they are unpublished masterpieces on school desk. The idea, desktop masterpieces. So Mango search for the most outstandingly creative expressions on desks, created with a ballpoint pen. Then borrowing them from school, they were displayed as priceless pieces of art at the CIBF retail store to inspire visitors to use a mango pen and express their thoughts on the paper placed in front of the exhibitor desk. The reaction. Phenomenal. During a period of seven days with the desktop masterpieces, Mango inspired over 154,000 people to leave their own inspired thoughts behind on pieces of paper. In addition, over 66,320 Mango pens were sold at the CIBF alone. Mango, right to inspire. Since of late, local communication technology statistics have been on an increasingly favourable role. The number of internet users exceeding 3.9 million, mobile social users exceeding 1.4 million, and mobile connections exceeding 20 million proved people in general now embraced all types of state-of-the-art gadgetry. While relentless internet package promotions on media only heartened this technological infatuation. However, the Census and Statistics 2009 survey showed that the age groups between 15 to 29 were the most computer literate. Dell decided to therefore focus their attention on this particular group, specifically university undergraduates aged 18 to 25, the innovators of the future. ATL advertising being too expensive, Dell understood that one-on-one -on -one contact and building credibility was vital in forming long-term bonds when selling high-value technology. A difficult task as UGC regulations greatly restricted commercial activities on university premises. But then a solution presented itself in the form of a powerful insight, Kupia. Students practiced an old university tradition they called Kupia, where they gather around a table to study together. Back then, due to the unavailability of electricity, students would often gather around a table with Kupi Lab to study after dark, hence the name. So using this insight as a springboard, Dell devised a plan to bond with students and gather them into a circle to do more. Dell Power Circle was designed to enable the modern student practice Kupia with an awesome Dell innovation. The Power Circle, a circular desk, came fully equipped with cool chairs, laptop charger outlets, powered lights and USB power ports to help practice Kupia. The title Power Circle also acted as a club to gather students into measurable groups for interaction and engagement. But Dell's innovative endeavor did not end there. A QR code was printed on the side of the desk and linked to the Dell Power Circle webpage to display the other segments of the Power Circle initiative, another set of tools and hooks to connect with students and work in line with the regulations put up by the UGC. Dell Power Talk. Entrepreneurs from a variety of corporate disciplines were invited to share inspiration and insights into their journey to greatness. That's still not all. Having received a dose of inspiration, students were then asked to come up with their own innovative business ideas. Dell Power Pitch. Young ideators presented their ideas to a panel of grading and the top three ideas were awarded starting capital from Dell. Now with a host of power circle activities happening at universities, Dell needed representation. Someone to manage their presence at all university premises on the long run. The Dell Power Ambassador. Dell selected passionate undergraduates from each university and tasked them with managing activities such as initiating new projects 
recruiting members, promoting offers, maintaining databases and so on. Ambassadors were also trained in initiating social entrepreneurship and a few outstanding ambassadors stood a chance to intern at Dell Global Office. Having created multiple points of interaction, Dell now needed a means to create a sales drive within the university. The Dell Power Card. The Power Card, given to every student with a university ID, entitled them to special discounts and offers on selected Dell products. All initiatives were covered by major newspapers and on social media. Dell Power Circle, an initiative designed to integrate, empower and promote. Kave Surakshitama Banko Veti Navinatama EMV Chip Takshin and Youth NSP Debit Card Path Samaga Vadi Vadi and Nitrikarana Vadi Vadi and Satuan Tamat Vasi Akvidina Vadi Vistara Langama NSP Shakaven Free Singapore Tour for NSP Mastercards Use your NSP Debit Master Gas again the Gandhi in me? Eatman at Dorijan in Larin.
දනේ හිනා වෙවි තනියම ගණන් හදන්නේ දැන් මහ ගන්නෙත් ළඟයිනේ ඇවිල්ලා තියෙන වැඩ සේරම මේ ටැක්ටර් එකෙන් කරගන්න පුළුවන්ද මේක මහින්ද්‍ර ටැක්ටර් එකක්නේ බරුවක් යන වැඩේ පැය දෙකෙන් ගොඩ දාන ටැක්ටර් එක අන්නේට කලින් රෙඩි කරගත්තම හොඳ ලමයිගේ පොට් එක ගන්න එනවා
Capital markets rely on real-time, high-performance, agile and resilient technologies, customized to meet business and regulatory demands. Unlike any other industry, our model will let you focus on your core business by letting us 